Hey guys, uh, I'm back for a brand new video for you today. Uh, sorry, I have uh, haven't been. There hasn't been much activity since uh, E3 on my channel. Uh, I've been uh, very busy. Um, obviously, move, I've been moving house um, and obviously sorting out uh, other issues as well. Uh, but in the in the while I've obviously uh, in the while that I haven't been active on my channel, uh, I have brought a couple of new games, uh, which uh, I plan to show you today and unbox for you. Um, the first being uh, Lego Chima Laval's Journey for the PlayStation Vita, and uh, then the second game I'm going to show off is uh, Deadpool for the PlayStation Three. So let's get started. Uh, the first game is. Lego Chima, Laval's journey, uh, journey for the PlayStation Vita. It's the uh, latest in the Lego video game series, and this one is uh, exclusive to uh, handheld platforms. So it's coming out on, um, I think it's well, it's out now on the PlayStation Vita and the 3DS, and it's coming out later this year for the actual uh, Nintendo, the original Nintendo DS itself. There's a the front cover, obviously showing the main uh, hero, uh, Laval the Lion. And it's got a couple of the uh, villains in the background, and he's uh, holding like holding his uh, sword weapon that you play as in the game. If you turn it round on the back, it's got uh, obviously more pictures of the game, uh, the gameplay. Uh, it shows uh, Laval again with, uh, and it also shows his uh, chi form, which you can transform into in the game. And on the back, it's got uh, the balance of Chima rests in your hands. And so it says, join Laval the Lion and his allies in an all-new adventure to, to defend the land of Chima. And you can play with over 60 characters, uh, unleash the power of Chi, and battle fierce enemies. If you turn it up, uh, open it up. Um, in the inside you get a slip uh, which gains you access to, um, uh, you can take a trip to Legoland Windsor. And there's the game itself. Right, yeah, obviously the Vita chips are quite small. Obviously there's no manual because it's uh, actually on the chip itself. Like uh, all, uh, all, all, well, most Vita games. Um, I managed to try out um, quite, a, quite a few levels. Um, it's pretty solid, uh, as most LEGO games are. Um, if anyone wants to know uh, what's, what the game's like, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. But uh, it's definitely worth uh, checking out if you've got a Vita. The graphics are pretty, uh, actually quite good for it. The, uh, the actual cinematics and the world uh, look quite stunning on the uh, little, uh, obviously the little screen on the uh, Vita. Um, and I'm glad I bought it. Uh, moving on to my next purchase, um, the second game. Uh, this one, this time, it's for the PlayStation Three. Uh, it's the um, most probably one of the most talked about games at the moment. Uh, it's uh, Deadpool uh, for the PlayStation Three. Uh, it's obviously the first title to feature um, Deadpool as the main character in the game, and um, it's it obviously it's hit the um, that news quite a bit because obviously uh, of how um, you know the game is. And uh, how funny it is, and how over the top it is in places, and just random. And uh, it can, you kind of get the vibe from um, what it says on the actual uh, box. On the front, it's got obviously this is uh, what awesome looks like, and obviously it points to uh, Deadpool himself. Uh, also on the front uh, is um, some more Marvel characters and X Men characters that feature in the game as well, which is awesome. If we turn it around, on the back you've obviously got pictures of um, the gameplay, and um, obviously you know shows off uh, some of the game, and some of the funny quotes on the back. It's got uh, taking the gorgeous view, um, shush, be very quiet, and can I cut in? Bang bang, and one day you'll be as big and strong like me. So you can kind of get the vibe of what the actual um, game's like. Uh, obviously the the humor in that uh, also on the on the back it's got here's why you need my game and it's got insane combo uh, action combo skills capture all my good sides and uh, loads of x-men cameos hotties included and uh, katanas and guns and beer traps oh my so there you go you kind of get the the general gist of the game if we open it up 
Uh, there's your little manual slash slip. It's not really a, uh, a full blown manual, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, there's the disc. Okay, if we take a quick look at that, first look at the manual. It's basically the front page is your controls, and inside it's just obviously you know the general kind of warranty pages and stuff. Not much. And if we take a closer look at the disc, there we go. Pretty uh, simple, just the game's logo. Um, I've played a f uh, quite a few hours of this. Um, it is uh, generally over the top. Um, it's kind of like a hack and slash slash uh, third person shooter, um, all in one. Um, Deadpool kind of uh, says a load of funny quotes um, during the gameplay, and um, the way the game starts, where you can uh, you can explore the flat and do some um, wacky uh, wacky shit like uh, drink beer, uh, take a shit. Um, or uh, phone uh, Nolan North, the voice actor and stuff, which is quite funny. Um, it kind of keeps that insane um, theme going throughout the game, which uh, is uh, pretty good. Um, if anyone wants to know what the game's like, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, obviously, I have plenty more unboxing videos uh, coming later this year. There won't be much uh, out, um, I think, in July. Um, but when August hits, uh, I think I'll be probably unboxing some of the big titles. I think uh, probably including Disney Infinity and uh, Rayman Legends and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned for those. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, footage um, from games on my channel. And also I'll be doing extensive coverage of Gamescom, which is also in August. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks, for, thanks very much for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe. Cheers.